everyone! It is Saturday night, the day before Valentine's Day. I just want to start off by saying, one, pardon my red tomato face, I just had a really hot bath, and two, pardon my main voice because if you didn't already guess, I am sick again. Just keeping track, this is the fifth time I've been sick since last August. So yeah, I'm not a happy camper, we'll just put it that way. Yeah, I started feeling symptoms on last Saturday. I was getting like a sore throat, and I was like pumping the cold FX, hoping I wouldn't get sick, but I did. So I'm definitely better than I was. I had to call in sick on Wednesday to work because there was no way I could work. I would just be passing all my germs to all my clients, and not to mention I was sneezing and just... That's just my computer. Yeah, so it was ugly. So definitely better than I was. My throat's not as sore. Just mostly congested and yeah, you can tell by my voice, I'm sure. So yeah, it's Saturday night, just after 8 o'clock, I think. I'm in my pajamas already. <laughs> Bed's pretty much ready. Um, yeah, not much is going on here. I'm just gonna catch up on some TV that I missed this week. And just relax, because I'm generally just feeling kind of run down because of the cold. So, it's about it tonight. Josh is coming home later tonight, I think, but I don't know if I'll see him. Because I want to try and get to bed early, just to try and get some rest with this cold. And I have the day off tomorrow, so we are going to hang out for Valentine's Day. I'm not too sure what we're doing. We might see a movie or something, but no real definite plans yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Other than that, I'll try and bring you along because I know I've been kind of a crappy vlogger lately. But not much has been going on, so not much to vlog really. And like I said, I've been sick, so you don't want to see that. It's not pretty. And yeah, I just wanted to check in. Just to let you guys know I'm still alive. I'm still kicking. And yeah, I'm sure I'll see you tomorrow. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. And I'll see you tomorrow. So, it's Valentine's Day! Say hey. Or not. Anyways. I'm using my phone because I forgot to bring my vlog camera in. What else did you expect? And I'm refilming all of them because I was filming all my videos this way instead of this way. So, yeah, I'm special. Like I said, it's Valentine's Day and I'm at Josh's. He's over there somewhere. And he's making me breakfast. We're having French toast and bacon. And. Yes. Anyways, long story short, Josh was coming over to my house this morning and his car died on the side of the road. We thought it was the battery, so I went over. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Thank you. So I went to hopefully help jump the battery, but it didn't work, so. Unjumpable. Unjumpable. So CAA said they could be here as late as 12.45 <laughs> and Josh called at 10 so yeah. We just got some ingredients for breakfast and Josh is making a wonderful meal while we wait for CAA to call back. So yeah, that's about it right now and I'll show you this delicious breakfast. Look at this spread. Some OJ French toast, bacon, and Josh's gift. A Chandler Bing card. Could I be any more ready to make you my Valentine? And a Chandler Bing. With a little chick. So cute. And I have the Joey, so Joey has a friend now. And if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat this delicious meal. So how do you feel? <laughs> Talk about it. You got it off your chest. Car. So much. But tell them what we did. <laughs> Let Adam narrate it. It'll be even better. Narrate it. Not narrate it.
He's not narrating it. We had to, in neutral, drive my car down a hill, around the corner, <laughs> up another hill, and into the driveway. And tell them what the hardest part was. The driveway. <laughs> But it's safely in the driveway it now. It was originally, I was like, in my mind, I had this idea of at the top of the hill, just literally reversing down the entire... That's what hill. I thought you meant. Yeah, and then Adam had the, why don't you just turn it around? Yeah. Yeah, could do that. Good idea. And yeah, CAA is not coming for what, like 10 hours? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty pretty much. CAA is just quality Even service. though you yelled at them? Yeah, that was yeah. not the... So are they, you're still on the list though? Yeah. Okay. They might come. So, CAA is finally here after we pushed Josh's car down a hill. Well, we didn't push it down the hill, it rolled down the hill. We pushed it up the hill and into the driveway. <clears throat> and then, like, 10 minutes later, CAA called and said they would be here in 15 minutes. So, Josh is outside dealing with that now. Hopefully, they can get it started. And I'm just watching some Walking Dead in the meantime. Come with blood and guts on Valentine's Day. And, spoiler alert, if you're not caught up with Walking Dead, don't listen to this. Pause it right now. But, it's the episode where Glenn dies. So traumatic. I was just so in shock watching that episode for the first time. I couldn't handle it. So, yeah. It's that part, almost. It's just too sad. I can't. I can't watch it again. I can't live through that again. I can't. It's too stressful. Anyone else hate Nicholas? Because I sure do. This guy. Hate him. Dinner time! This is how you celebrate a car fair. So AKA funny. Valentine's Day. <laughs> mm. Pizza is life. Mm. Oh, yes. It's no GG's, but it'll do. <laughs> it'll it's do. It'll do. That was weird. Anyways, it's probably a little dark. And I got my pal Santa back there. Um, so we just watched The Walking Dead, the mid series or mid-season premiere, I guess. It just started again after the holidays. So good, so intense. People died, but I was okay with the people who died. Someone almost died that I was not happy with. Spoiler alert, if you don't wanna know, don't listen. Carl got shot in the face by that stupid kid, Ron. He got shot in the eye and like, you would think if you got shot in the eye that you would die because it would go into your head, but apparently not, because he's still alive. So yeah, it was a really good episode though, it was intense, and I liked it. <laughs> Speaking of Ron, and Sam, I hated that Sam kid too. We're watching the Talking Dead, the like after the episode, anyways. Anyways, yeah, both of those stupid kids died. I'm so glad. I did not like them. Yeah, so I don't think much else is going on. Me and Josh got pizza for dinner because after the whole car ordeal, we were not prepared to cook anything. So we got some pizza and just chilled, watched Walking Dead. And yeah, Josh has to go back downtown, so... We're just figuring out bus times, I guess. And yeah, I have tomorrow off because it's family day. And I have Tuesday off too because it's my regular day off. So I got three days off in a row. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll find something. And that's about it. I'll probably end the vlog here for now. And I hope you guys all had a wonderful Valentine's Day, whatever you got up to. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey everyone, it's now Monday. Happy Family Day, if you're celebrating in Canada. And my family just left to go shopping. Anyways, I'm fine with that because I wanted to do some tidying. 
And I don't just mean general tidying, I mean like big overhaul tidying. If you have ever read this book, you know what I'm talking about. It is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, The Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing by Mary Kondo. It's a big kind of talked about book on the internet and it was a number one New York Times bestseller so it's pretty popular. I'd heard about it on YouTube and stuff, some people had read it and said it was really good and said it was, like I said, it's kind of life-changing. And one would think tidying up is not necessarily life-changing, but after reading it, it's kind of inspired me to tidy up <laughs> without using a different word. And yeah, it just, I realize there's a lot of things in my life that I don't necessarily need and I could always pass them along to someone else who could use them or benefit from them or just enjoy them. So one of the main principles in this book is keeping things that only keeping things that bring you joy. So basically when you're looking at all your items, deciding does this item bring me joy? Yes, then I'm going to keep it. No, I'm going to either throw it out or donate it in some way. So that's a thing to consider. Today I'm going to do my clothes. I've been pretty good lately with randomly just looking at my closets and my dressers and stuff and looking at an item if I haven't worn it in a really long time, get rid of it even if I think, oh well it might be too small now but maybe I'll fit into it soon or but what if I want to wear it someday? I used to be all about that and there's still clothes in there that are there just for wishful thinking basically. So. In the hall out there, I'm gonna just pile all my clothes and go through it like that. Rather than by my closet, I have some stuff in other closets as well. Dresser, you get the picture. So, that's my chore for today is to tackle my clothes. We're gonna start small. <laughs> it's not really small, but we're gonna start with one thing at a time because it may take a while. Probably do like clothes, jackets, shoes today if I can. I have tomorrow off so maybe I'll tackle something else like maybe like bathroom products like makeup and toiletries and stuff but we'll see. So I just want to share that with you in case you're looking to declutter your life and yeah that's about it. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good family day so far and I'll probably keep you in tune with my progress with my clothes. See you later! Okay, so brace yourself. I have gathered all of my clothes from that dresser over there, bedside table, two closets, and I'm not going to show you because they're all on the floor. <laughs> and then there's another closet in here. I had those two buckets. There was a dresser here I had some clothes in. And another closet over there that I have closed. So, this does not include jackets because I did that already. There's some I'm donating over there. And it doesn't include like winter accessories like scarves or gloves or hats or anything because I went through that already too. But yeah, you don't realize how many clothes you have until they are literally all on the floor in front of your face. So, don't judge me, because <laughs> I'm a little daunted, but at the same time, it's freeing to just have it all out in the open. So, here's, here's the chaos. We've got dresses and skirts, pants, and then, <laughs> yeah, socks, like sweaters and hoodies. Pajamas, underwear, etc. Fall, winter clothes. Summer, spring clothes, and shorts. Yeah. Told you it was a lot. Thank God my parents aren't here because I'm sure they wouldn't be happy that all my stuff is all over the floor. So, 
if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go sort this. We'll see how many... I'm gonna put everything I want to donate into garbage bags, so we'll see at the end how many bags I've got. Wish me luck. So garbage, I have some shoes that I'm throwing out, and um, some like socks that are missing its match or have holes, old bathing suits, stuff like that. So that stuff's garbage. And then three full garbage bags of stuff to donate, and then kind of like a half a bag of shoes. So yeah, pretty good if I do say so myself. Back again. Everything is finally done with my clothes. Let me just check what time it is. It's six o'clock and I probably started at like 11 30, 12 o'clock. So I'm kind of tired now because that was a really long process. <laughs> Anyways, I'm glad with how everything turned out. Um, I'll just give you a little preview. Um, I did the folding the way the book recommends. So here's one of the drawers, my dresser. So I got like thicker sweaters, some thinner sweaters, and then um, just like long sleeve shirts. And they're folded really nicely, so it takes up a lot less room than if they were just stacked on top of each other. And then I could actually fit my summer clothes in here still. So I've got like t-shirts, tank tops, um, some like workout clothes, um, little bralette things. And then down here I have some tight sweatpants, shorts. And I have room in there too because I know I have other stuff in the laundry still. Finally done. Yeah, I'm gonna go rest now. That was just a lot of work. But like I said, I'm glad with how it turned out, so I'm okay with that. Let me just end the vlog here for now, since, like I said, nothing's really going on tomorrow, or for the rest of tonight, for that matter. And I know I said it before, but I hope you guys have a great family day and a nice long weekend, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!